So there's a very specific problem with these Hondas. Sometimes you have a P0302, 303, and a 300 code all at once. So whenever you see these three codes together, there's a very specific problem with these vehicles that requires a crank relearn process. Most of the mechanics online kind of agree that when you have these three problems all together, a lot of times it's going to be the aftermarket starter. So if you replace your Honda starter with the aftermarket starter, then nine times out of the 10, the problem is going to be the starter interfering with the crank sensor. So there's two ways to get by this problem. One is to just relearn the crank sensor, but that's a temporary fix. Or you can change the starter back to a Honda OEM starter, then relearn the crank sensor, and that should be the permanent fix. So as you can see, I'm using this Foxwell NT510 Elite here. And this is what I'm going to use to uh, reset the crank sensor. So we're going to scroll over here and select Honda. And then Smart VIN. So it's going to look it up um, automatically. So we're going to go down here to USA. Not because of the vehicle, but because we're in the USA. And you can hit OK or F3 to get past this menu. Then we're going to go down to number two. That's going to be control modules. And then number one, engine control system. And then we're waiting. All right, so now we're gonna go down to number seven, special functions. Let that load up. It may take a while. All right, you can see number one, crank pattern. Let's click on that, the crank CKP pattern. All right, it says select crank pattern to perform crank pattern clear and crank pattern learn procedures so just hit enter or f3 so this is going to be a two-step process the first step is to clear the crank pattern the number one so we're going to select that it says this clear command erases only crank pattern data stored in the ecm pcm use this clear command after repairing a misfire or replacing a crank sensor Afterward, do the crank relearn procedure. We know that part. So we're gonna press enter or F3 to clear the crank pattern. Okay, it says, please start the engine. So we're gonna start the engine now. Cracking it up. All right, and almost immediately it says to switch it off. So we're gonna turn it off now. Now it's saying turn the ignition switch on. So we're gonna turn the switch on, but don't start it. Wait 30 seconds. Okay, so clearly we have to wait now. So let's just have a little bit of patience while this thing loads up. If you want to skip forward about 30 seconds, then you can do that as well. This thing's taking a minute. All right, it says the crank pattern relearn has been cleared. So press enter or F3. Okay, so now we're going to go down to number two, crank pattern relearn. So this is the official relearn process. All right, it says this function performs crank pattern learn with the vehicle part. If this function is not applicable to the vehicle being serviced, perform the crank pattern learn procedure in the service manual. Okay, so the test conditions to get this started, your engine coolant temperature needs to be above 167 Fahrenheit, which is 75 degrees Celsius, and your transmission fluid needs to be above 113 Fahrenheit, which is 45 degrees Celsius. So if the vehicle isn't warm enough, it's going to um, ask you and require you to basically put your foot on the accelerator and warm it up. And if your vehicle is warm enough, then it's going to go straight into the next step. All right, so we're going to scroll down and press enter or F3. It says the learning has not been completed. Do you wish to continue? So hit F3. Yes. Okay, it says please start the engine. So we're going to start the engine now. So the reason it takes so long to crank is because we already cleared the uh, crank sensor. So it's 
literally relearning right now. And this is the menu you're gonna get if your temperature is not warm enough. You can see our temperature down there is 154 and it's supposed to be 167. So it's asking us to um, keep the idle between 2000 and 3000 so that it can warm up. So that's what I'm doing now. So if you already have your vehicle warm, it may skip this step and you'll be in a different process. So you can see we're at 161 now, 163. It's climbing real fast because of the RPM, 165 and 167. So that's where we need to be. So it says, please release the throttle. So we're gonna do that. All right, it says depress the accelerator fully until the engine goes into fuel cut. Now this is the menu it would send you to if your uh, vehicle was already uh, up to temperature. So we're gonna press the gas all the way. All right, it says release the accelerator, turn off the ignition switch. All right, it's turned off. All right, please start the engine. Okay, so let's start it back up. All right, it says to wait 30 seconds again. So I guess we'll have to wait. All right, crank pattern relearn has complete. So F3, and that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you relearn your crank sensor on the Honda using the Foxwell. Now, those three codes that you saw earlier, the P0300, um, the P0302, and the P0303 should all be gone, and your vehicle should be able to go above 20 miles per hour again and be out of limp mode.